Let me introduce myself. My name is uh, Kwan Chek. Most people call me KC. I am the CEO of the Agency for Integrated Care. I'll talk a little bit about what AIC does, why we are here, representing the community care sector, and how we work with our partners, but more importantly, how we care for our Singaporeans, our seniors going ahead. What's the first impression when we tell you or ask you about community care? What are the first thing that comes into your mind? And when we talk about community care, we're really talking about the care, the support, what we actually provide out to help our Singaporeans stay at home and in the community. That means not in the hospital. If they need the care in the hospital, then I think that's what needs to happen. But, you know, for most, if not every one of us, we would like to stay at home where the communities where it used to be. It's really, firstly, down in the local community level. Secondly, it's long term. We are really ageing with them. So a little bit unlike the hospital, I would say, right? And I used to work a lot with the hospitals. The hospitals, you know, they have capability. They actually provide the care, health care, right? But it's for the period where you need that care. So when you go in, if you're well enough, then you're discharged. But for us in community care, we really need to care for them for the longer term. Now I'll talk a little bit about the growth within the sector, what you can expect. But what should be, the, what should be your perspective in terms of the future for you in the sector? Aging is uh, one of the key challenges for us. Aging will impact on all facets of our lives as well. But of course, you know, I added in pandemic, lah, given what we've gone through for COVID-19. The challenge of aging comes about as well because our population in Singapore is growing. By the time we come to 2030, one in four of us will be 65 and above. For those who are older, and our, our, actually our data and our outreach so effort has shown, if you go past a certain age, particularly past 75, the functionality, the mental health, as well as the need, actually escalates. So we will face growing demand, we will face growing challenges. Chronic diseases, which also have a long tail as well, in terms of management, will also continue to grow, impact on how we need to care for them. At the same time, the workforce is going to shrink. Fewer working adults as a proportion to the whole population. We then need to make sure that community care still has the workforce to be able to help us to provide the care that is necessary for Singaporeans going ahead. We need to also make sure we keep it sustainable because healthcare cost is going up. We always talk about ageing as a challenge. And for me, it's not just about that. Actually, ageing is a positive force. We must look at ageing as something that you know, seniors and ourselves can look forward to. In the face of life, our aspiration, what we want to do. And if I look at what we do in the community care sector, I want to explain this a little bit. In AIC, uh, what we do is really twofold. Firstly, we help to empower our seniors and our clients to be able to live well, to be able to live within the community at home, and to be able to age gracefully. And that includes how we support them, ensure they get the services and programs that they need. But the other role that we have is really working with our partners, the community care organisation that's out there in the sector. Actually, they are the ones providing the services, program, the outreach, and the various aspects to be able to help our Singaporeans age well. How do we actually help them to have the capability, the capacity, and the ability actually to cater to the growing needs of our Singaporeans? So that is actually a key part of AIC's role. We are the sector developer for the, community, uh, for the community care sector. And when we talk about the community care sector, what do we mean? We are really referring to our partners who are uh, working at the community level, providing the services, programs, the support, the outreach, actually at the local level to our Singaporeans out there. And that varies from providing the residential-based care so these are the ones that, you know, either the clients or the residents will be staying there for the longer term because the need requires for it. Or for, let's say, for rehab or subacute care. So you have community hospitals, you've got a nursing home, and the inpatient hospice. So we also look after the end of life. To me, important for us not just to, just to talk about living well, which means living your life well, as well as living well. Living meaning L-E-A-V-I-N-G. At the end of our life, we also want to live well. It also covers centre-based care. So we have our senior care centres, senior activity centres, active ageing hub that's based in local community, providing daycare, rehab services, nursing services out at the local community. We are working with MOH, Ministry of Health, to also help to transform those centres to what we call active ageing centres. 
or active aging care hubs. And the idea is that those centres out of the local community will support the seniors in the, in the vicinity. In various aspects, active aging, befriending, care and support, even digitalisation, digital inclusion. We also work with our partners that actually uh, focus a lot on home care. These are typically for more bed bound uh, clients who are not able to get out from their home. And they might have some caregiver support where we provide home nursing, home medical, home therapy out to the homes where they are. So our partners do provide the range of services, some specialising in certain areas, like residential, some are what we call multi-service. They could have residential centre as well as home care services. And we do work with over 200 you know, of our partners out in the community care sector, many of whom are actually what we call social services agency. We do contribute to Ministry of Health's overall strategic plan, of which they have also mentioned, firstly, we need to move beyond hospital to community. Not that hospitals are not important. They are a critical part of our care system. But increasingly, the focus has to be going out into the community. We also support the move to beyond healthcare to health. So that's the preventive health part. We want to keep our Singaporeans healthy as far as we can. Lastly, we want to move beyond quality to value. So these are MOH strategic shift for which, as part of what AIC does, a big part, and the community sector, community care sector does, this is what we contribute towards. But most importantly, what aspirations are we meeting for our seniors and Singaporeans? Uh, the last part is really about you. Why should you consider the community care uh, sector scholarship? And this is the purpose of today's session. And based on you know, our so experience so far, based on talking to those who have considered accepted our scholarship, those of us who have been through the journey as well, I thought you know, there are four things that you should think about whether it's right for you. We are not here to convince you. Can I say this up front? We are not here to hard sell you the scholarship. It must be right for you. You must feel that this is the future that you are comfortable with, that resonates with your purpose. That's, that's why you know, we are here as well, to help you to understand that. Hopefully to re reflect on that you know, and decide whether this is right for you. But based on what we see in terms of our scholars and you know, those who have joined us on the journey, we see four things that they, they should, you know, they have told us which are really critical for them in thinking about whether this is right for them. Firstly, the inst instinctive thing that comes to them is they do feel this innate you know, need or desire to care for others. The second part is you are going to be part of a sector that continues to grow. If you want to be a part of an evergreen growing sector, but more importantly, one that offers you diverse career opportunities, areas where you can actually contribute, areas you can also specialise, but also, you know, along the path that you feel that is aligned with your potential and your aspiration. So whether it's in terms of, you know, along the professional lines, along leadership management, or even in terms of being able to outreach at the local community level, at a more operational level. We do offer the diverse range of career opportunity and exposure. For you, if you join us as a scholarship, you have that. In fact, the exposure will also extend to the hospital as well because we feel they're really part of the system that we, are, that we, we have. And it's important for the hospital to be linked to the community and vice versa. The last part is if you really want to, and you feel this is a purpose that resonates with you, make a real difference to others. I will acknowledge to you, we do face challenges. What keeps us going, what makes it worthwhile, what makes it meaningful is the impact we're going to have now as well as going into the future. And at the end, if I can end off, it's not just about what we do in community care. It's not just about caring for our Singaporeans, our seniors that are out there, and the clients as well. To me, at the end, it's also not just about making a real impact. You're really helping us to create a better Singapore, a better society that we all, you know, are grateful, not grateful, are happy to be living in. Because a society that looks after all of us, including those who are ageing, and our seniors, is one that's important for us to build going forward. Mm -hmm.